Well, you know, I've had a really long relationship with Choi. It's been uh, since 1986, so 30 years. To see this new helmet and where they've gone with it, to see what the engineers have done, you know, to see what Marquez has suggested with the engineers, and to see what this has progressed into is just absolutely amazing. I actually wore this in Malaysia for the ZX-10R launch. I spent six hours in the thing in the in the heat of Malaysia and the ventilation was, was brilliant. I didn't change it then, um, I only changed it today, um, changed the back, back padding uh, and the cheek lining so it tilts it, gives you that extra four mil of vision. It's a really, really good helmet. Today was the first time I rode with it and uh, the first impressions are really good. I noticed mainly the vision for me, you know, I kind of see more going down the straightaways and through the corners which just helps tremendously riding a super bike and then also the airflow a little bit. So a hot summer day when we have two races in one day on a thousand, it gets pretty tough. Being in a great helmet like the X14 I think will help a lot. I had never had a problem with my X12 buffeting at all, but when I put on the X14, I actually kind of noticed that it, it was doing a little bit. So big advantage with the, the X14, keeping my head stable and, and again, helping keeping my eyes focused on what's ahead. It's the most comfortable helmet I've ever worn, by far. Hi, konnichiwa. Racing rider, Kagayama Ikyo desu. I was a little bit of a contribution to the development of the company. In the first race, I was 去年の最終戦で鈴鹿ではあの14も先行でレースで使わせてもらいました。その時にすごく、えー、感じたこと、まずはその視界性、すごくあのウィンドウのポジションが変わったことによってよく見える、それから視界が広がるということですごくあのライディングが楽になりました。でもう一つレース終わった後に気づいたことなんですけど、首への疲労度が全く新しいヘルメットが変わりました。それはなぜかというとやっぱりその新しい空気抵抗を減らしてそのエラダイナミックがね効果をレース後に気づいたことでした。My favorite feature, I mean, of all the new stuff, is the fact that they kept it the same price as the X12. I mean, the X12 is a premium helmet. It's a really nice helmet. They're telling us all the stuff that they changed, all the stuff they improved. And when it came to the end, when Matthias was telling us the price, everyone was like, and he said it was the same as the existing helmet, which is, I mean, that's quite a feat. So definitely hats off to that. Good job, Shoei. Hey guys, connect your headset. Let's hit the road. Yeah, sounds good. System starting. Mesh intercom on. Senna's 30K, using Bluetooth and mesh intercom technology, has made connecting groups easier and faster than ever. In the press of a single button, every available headset nearby can be paired, getting you and your group out on the road faster than ever. Hey guys, let's ride for a bit and stop for lunch at the grill. Sounds good. Yeah. Santa's mesh intercom is self-healing and allows riders to easily join and leave the group without breaking the connection. All right, I'll race you there. There goes Tom again. Nice shortcut, dude. I bet you didn't go to the speed limit. Always, dude. Hey, I've got this Bluetooth device. Can I still tag along? No problem. I can Bluetooth pair with you, mess with the other guys, and then we'll all be connected. Intercom pairing. Technology should never leave anyone behind. Easily connect with both Bluetooth and mesh intercom, allowing you to communicate with all Senna users. This is the Senna 30K. Scully, play music.
It's a paradigm shift in automotive or, and uh, motorcycle helmet technology. The helmet really does everything. It's a helmet that I think I could wear with my sport bike, my chopper, or my bagger and not have to worry about not looking cool. This is like a little godsend for me. <laughs> it's going to be a game changer. It's going to be the helmet of choice. I can't wait to put it on a ride. <laughs> it's a dream. <laughs>